Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday, Tuesday morning? morning. <laughs> You're off, TQ. You're really off. I'm not off. I'm actually. I feel good. I slept well. Slept well. I, I tried to let TQ head. sleep in this morning. It, it felt that extra 20 minutes until Miley's like, I need my hair curled, Mom. <laughs> I was gonna let Savannah sleep in till like eight because I got up at six. And my daughter wanted her hair curled, so she's like, Dad, can I go wake mom up? And I'm like, Well, there goes her she, getting some extra sleep. Did she ask you to curl her hair? No. Nah. No? That would have been something to. I mean, I could have curled it, but uh, she might not have had any hair left. <laughs> Anyways, we just got done dropping Teddy off at the groomers. He's getting his first puppy haircut. Yeah. And T Huge said something about. No. I won't just fill you in it. just yet. Just leave it. I won't fill you in just yet. <laughs> Anyways, we're here at a friend's uh, restaurant, Athens restaurant, it's called family diner greek uh make great breakfast so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do get some breakfast huh that's right let's go all right so we're in home depot and i'll tell you what i did not realize there were so many mailbox options <laughs> and some of these mailboxes are expensive like that one up there i think it's pretty nice though huh? i like it I'll you like it? it yeah got a big old eagle on the front mm -hmm. of it and everything mm-hmm mm -hmm. I don't see a pink one though. No, I think I'll get the cheap one down here for the kids to come smash again. Because they're probably going to come visit again. Because I know I was probably a kid and I smashed a mailbox and then I drove by it a week later and there was a nice brand new shiny one. Probably going to look like a nice target to hit again, huh? I think so. All right, so oh, okay. fast forward an hour and a half later and we're back here at PetSmart picking up old Ted Vicious. What do you think he's going to look like? I think he's gonna be cute too, but being that it's a puppy cut, there's not gonna be much of a difference. Even though TQ did something that I was against. So. Well, the puppy cut is just to get him familiarized with the clippers and the bathing and stuff because it's his very first one. So. Yeah. We'll see how he did. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at you, Daddy. <laughs> What did you do to his head? <laughs> that should just wash off with soap what? and water. Okay. Um, she dyed my dog's head blue. Only per request of Sean Boy. So, like, he was like... Teddy. Should, should dye his I'm sorry blue. I let you let him do that to you. He almost looks like an ape now. Doesn't he? <laughs> he almost looks like a... Like an ape? I don't know. Rocker weird. dog. Do you need a treat? He smells good. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to open these up and see exactly. I've never personally installed a mailbox. It doesn't look like there's too much to it. Uh, it does look like it, I have to put the flag on. So, maybe not. Nope, flag's on. The ones I looked up online said normally you have to install the flag. But these look like they're pretty much together. So we got the wood here. Basically, we're going to attach the mailbox here with the screws, and then you attach the board to the pole itself. So uh, that's what we're about to do, huh? You want to do it or you want me to do it? You can do it. Okay. We picked up some nice stainless steel screws so they won't rust. if I wanted to pre-drill these or not because sometimes pine will split but seems like it's doing pretty good. These screws aren't very thick at all. But I have the drill turned down pretty good too. There's nothing, no reason to blow these things out. One side. Split it a little bit, hun. Right there. Yeah. Oh well. Three of the four is holding. <laughs> right. You're putting a lot of pressure on that so that'll push down. And if 
you guys are wondering about the Starbucks, we got a ton of gift cards for Christmas. So yes, we are indulging a little bit with those, but we did not pay for them. So we're not blowing our budget, right? Savannah's dad was the main culprit. I think he gave us, what, 50 bucks worth of Starbucks gift cards? Yeah. Nice though. Nice of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Thank you! Scraped it. So, I already came down here and I knocked the uh, mailbox off. Well, I didn't really knock it off, but I got it off as best I could. A lot, off, lot of rusted nails. Been on here a long and time. Screws. I'm gonna have to get uh I'm have to get something to cut these off. Alright, right now we're just trying to get this other bottom support from the old one off. It's looking like we're probably gonna have to replace this board here too. It's split. Yeah. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I did talk to my neighbor. And uh, surprisingly, he said, go for it. He said, thank, thank me a lot. He said, he's had this same mailbox for a long time. Yeah. So Sean got a piece of, I would call it base wood cut. Yeah. Um, the other one just broke in half, guys. We tried half. to take it off. So we'll get a newer piece put on here. It's a lot more sturdier. Just got to get a bit so we can put these anchor bolts back up through the bottom. Uh, not the way I would do it, but my neighbor is the one that pretty much takes care of this side. So that's how he had it. So I'm going to put it back the way it was. Nope, that's too small. Let's see if there's the other one. It's not the straightest, but you know what? It's gonna work. It's pretty sturdy. Got them both on there. We had to replace pretty much everything here. He had this already put on his old mailbox and it makes it a little more sturdy as well. Um, so, I mean, it took us a little bit, but we got it done. Um, paper box, unfortunately, that's just gonna get removed. It's not ours, but um, he said that we, he could they could just put the paper right there in between the mailboxes if needed you know how it is once you get done with a job your pockets are full of 10 million things you thought you were going to use and not use and all of your tools so gotta get these bad boys put back my brother-in-law actually bought me this set years ago i think it was just like a harbor freight set but i'll tell you what guys i keep this one in the truck and i have used this thing a million times and it comes in handy and it's worked every time. I know Pittsburgh tools aren't really like super known for uh, being high quality, but this thing's actually worked every single time I've ever needed it to. So thumbs up to that. Makita drill came, or Makita impact came in handy. And uh, as always, my Craftman stuff and my DeWalt stuff. And yeah, let's go. Yeah, the neighbor actually brought over his Ryobi stuff too. And yeah. it worked out good too. Yeah. So we had a lot of tools on hand, I think. Yeah, we had plenty enough to get the job done. It's <laughs> more than, cold, more than enough. Yeah, it is. Didn't go as planned. Neighbor actually taught me a few things because we put the boards on first. And he said, now well, let's take those boards back off and we'll screw the top boards down first. So then those screws aren't exposed, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then put the mailbox on. So learn Yeah, something. that way you're not actually screwing through the mailbox. Well, screwing inside. up through the mailbox. Well, yeah. Because, see, the guy at the store told me to screw up through that big board into the wood underneath the mailbox. But like my neighbor said, he said, then you have a chance of puncturing it. But the screws I bought wouldn't have went through. They, uh, I made sure they weren't too long. But he said, let's do it the other way. So, I you think know. he just wanted to help, too. Yeah, so. he, he definitely wanted to help. And, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm glad he let me do it for him, honestly. I am. He even tried to pay me back, and I told him absolutely not because he's helped me out a ton over the years working on small stuff for me, push mowers, you yeah. know, uh, tons of stuff, guys. I mean, tons of stuff. He always brings us vegetables and apples in the summertime and he's just a good neighbor honestly he is he's a really good neighbor he's mm -hmm. he's got security on his house you know we have security on ours so we kind of keep an eye on each other and you know i've known his i've known his wife before she passed away years ago and she was a good woman too my lips are chapped <laughs> <laughs> they are <laughs> yeah my lips are chapped like crazy I have my 
I'll get some here in one second, TQ. <laughs> but today's video, guys, is nothing lawn care related, but just simply helping a neighbor out, mm -hmm. being a good, I guess, Samaritan or a good neighbor. Uh, you know, I felt yeah. good doing it. I, yeah. I know you felt good doing it. And yeah, it was He fun. was very appreciative and... Got to talk to him a little bit, and he's like, can you please write your guys' names down so I don't forget them? <laughs> yeah. He's, uh... He, he's known us for years, guys. He, he knows our names, but, you know, once you get so old, mine kind of goes a little bit. You forget things and this and that. So, uh... Hey, what are you trying to say? Because I forget things all the time. It is very true. Very true. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always... Keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace, guys. Don't forget, you can always make somebody's day just a little bit better by giving them a smile.